Cool. Hey everyone. Um, welcome back. I finished my meetings for the day, uh, and so I'm gonna. Ah, fuck. Well, but yes, that too. Um, I'm apparently gonna hurt one of my piercings, uh, and then um, I've got two sort of things that I want to work on that are related. Um, it's supporting like something like replica sets or the job API inside of Spark. Um, and the second one is uh, getting Volcano deployed on my ARM cluster. So those are sort of the two things that we're going to work on today. And let's go terminal mode. Okay. Uh, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? There we go. There we go. Okay. Um... So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with pulling the uh, latest Apache Master. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do Spark 36058 Sport Replica Sets or uh, API. I think it's OK. Uh, so that's, that's what we'll get started with. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. Um, let's see if that actually propagated. No, it did not. I will hit edit. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, so there we go, uh, first things first, or, wait, first things first, um, since it's been a while, uh, I, I like to do a clean, oh, actually, I should do this with Kubernetes profile, um, I like to do a clean build. Uh, whenever I'm merging in, okay, clean, compile, test compile. Uh, and that'll take a little bit of time. Um, but I, I just, I prefer to do a clean build so that if I, if I do get build issues, like I have a good idea as to, as to why. Um... Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, right, the next thing I was going to do is deploying Volcano. Um, okay. So I'm going to go back to get checkout master, get remote, get full upstream master. Okay, uh, we'll update the PR on top of master. And what am I going to do? Oh, hmm. there's a community membership. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, three levels. Okay, well, whatever. Um, I am... What am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to run master because I don't actually remember what I changed. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. So, I am going to do this. 
thankfully I left a note to myself as to what to do. Um, so that's nice. Although, I am... It's like, the home key doesn't seem to be working. Maybe that's something I should fix. Uh, home key not working in terminal. Let's see. Works fine there. Uh, uh, oh, that did the trick. Eh, whatever. Okay. Press Control Home, Control V Home, or whatever it was, and I don't. It, it works. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to question it. Um, cool. So this is going to build. Oh, interesting. Error exporting image. Um, that's not good. I would expect this to fail. I would expect this to fail. Is that not my image prefix? Uh, who I am holding K. Um, oh. Okay. 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 Hmm. Uh, so, what was the old image prefix? Or what is the image pre? What is the default image prefix in this make file? Hano. Make make file image. Ah, okay. Okay. There we go. So holding case slash VC. There we go. That's the ticket. Um oh I guess we might as well also push that since that's a clarification of the build instructions. Let's go ahead and do that. You know, diff, uh, clarify the build instructions, uh, db registry slash, uh, okay, cool. Solid, solid. Okay. Um, so that's going to go ahead. This is going to take some time course to build everything, but that's fine. Um, it's also taking Spark a while to build, so I guess I got a few minutes to just think about what I'm doing. Oh yeah, okay. So what I'm doing in the Spark world, assuming that this thing builds, oh, it's going to be a pain in my ass. Um, Uh, so what we would do here is, yeah, for each resource profile, we would create a replica set. That sounds about right. Um... Also sounds painful, but it sounds all right. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. 
Okay, I mean, that's the set total. Request new executors. So what does request new executors do? Uh, resource profile, D. Well, we have no way of actually specifying, like, what is in that resource profile? Hmm. Hmm. We? I'm confused. Um, the resource profile ID stuff is something I am going to have to dig into. Uh, huh. Okay, we have some magic to do some stuff. Okay. Um, so when we go ahead and we go request new executors, we... Create an executor conf. We make a pod with an attached container. Go ahead, we got place PVCs if needed. Create executor pod. Add owner reference. Um, hmm. Hmm. So, you, okay, resolved executor spec build from features. There we go. Okay, so executor builder. <sighs> okay. Um, Kubernetes executor builder. And yeah, let's take some resource profile. Okay, that's that's where the magic happens. So um what would we do here? So uh, local Durs feature step. Now, now, basic, basic executor feature step. Executor feature step. Scala, PVC. Okay. Um. So, pod allocation size. Where is pod allocation size? Pod allocation size. Oh, yeehaw. Okay. Um, private eval, uh, spark replica set, uh, use replica sets is equal to conf.get. Um, And then what are we gonna do? So we could start off with just making the replicas. Well, okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Good place. Okay. Well, Kubernetes uh, replica set allocator. Config builder, yeah. Set. Uh, dot doc. Instead of directly allocating pods, allocate replica sets. Uh. I want to give this a better name because I want this to be like replica sets or jobs. 
Delegate executors. Instead of directly allocating pods, allocate replica sets, jobs. or other high-level uh, hmm. part of me is wondering, what about if I made, this is an executor pods allocator, private spark, where do we call it? And maybe, Maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe instead of putting in a flag. Okay, so the thing that I'm debating with myself right now is whether I want to put in a flag here or. Hmm. Kubernetes cluster scheduler backend. Okay. Like. Hmm. Wait. Delegate. Oh. Delegate. Should. Oh. Damn it. I thought I saw like a delegate in here and I was excited because like um that's okay. Executor, so okay, yeah, for now, for now. Here. To do hold on. Uh Allocate replica sets. Uh, enable replica sets. Allocation. Um. Do, do we want this to be a flag or maybe specify a class to use in place of executor pods allocator? For now, it's a flag, so my life is simpler. Sounds good. Um, delegate, no, okay. Uh, replica. Uh, Conf create with default pods. Uh, ah, okay. Wool conf is Boolean conf. Okay. Sounds cool. Um, replica sets. Ah, <sighs> so. 
we are going to go all the way down here to the part where this goes ahead and tries to make um, beans. Beans. Hmm. So replica sets are, sorry, not replica sets. Uh, resource profiles are immutable once created. So what we can do is inside of request new executors. Uh, yeah, we are not going to know that anymore. Well, okay. Uh, request new executors. Ah, actually, yeah, maybe we could just do this. Well, okay, request new executors. Vanilla. Actually, let's see where request new executors is called. Request new executors. Uh. Okay, sure. Um... Hmm. The fact is, though, if we're using PVCs, we need to use temp. Oh, okay. Uh, correct. Uh, request new executors. This is kind of jank, but whatever. <clears throat> request new executors. Replica set. Um, uh, Profile replicas is created. Sets created is equal to mutable dot hash set int. Okay. Um, if replica sets created dot contains. Resource profile ID. Hello. Update the replica set with our new target. Um, we need to make the new replica set, uh, which is going to involve building pod. So then. Hello, Ergod Cliff, or yeah. Hmm. What we're gonna do is um, yeah. For now, just track the uh, replica sets created in the future. Maybe track uh, requested. Uh, how how should I say your name? Do 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 do. <sighs> so, um, yeah, 
So... Do I want to... What? No. I don't... Add owner reference... Oh, okay. Let's go ahead. Replace PVCs if needed. So, yep. Uh, e not pod. Uh, do do do. Negative one. <laughs> Um, exec ID template value. I don't know. Uh, that's gonna need some work. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Ah, uh, replace PVCs if needed. I like. What is this shit doing? Um. Yeah, we're not. We're not doing this. Uh. Okay. Ah, I might just call you Life. That seems Clife. No, ergotic. Ah, I'm gonna have to punch that in Google to make sure I'm not saying a bad word. Oh, buttons, math buttons. I have no idea how to pronounce that. My bachelor's in math, but it turns out I didn't actually really retain much of it. Okay, uh, yeah, we don't need to do this part. Um, so, yeah, yeehaw. Ye fucking ha. Um, Before we go too far, actually, I am wondering. I have an idea. Oh, I don't remember which time the first time around was anymore. <laughs> uh, I... Replica set? Ooh. Uh, this might touch replica sets. Let's take a look. Replica set. Oh. Mm. Mm. Let's see what they did. Uh ah. Yeah, I mean so they did this. Uh they did it with a pod controller class. Um And yeah, they delegated that. So like, eh. we could. We could do this, but also, I don't know. I don't feel it. Okay, that's fine. Um, do, 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 oh. um, hmm. actually, accept. What about if I call you Sea Life? Uh, 
Uh, <sighs> if we don't have any newly created, no one pod count is less than. So this doesn't have a way of, yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. This is going to become set target executors. Um, I'm glad to see you live. Uh... Yeah, actually, we are just going to straight up steal this logic. And by steal this logic, I mean refactor it. Um, set target. Do, 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 if uh, yeah, I got hit by a car. Uh, it's it sucks. Um, but yeah, that's that's my life. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, what was my brain doing? Brain, 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 brain. But yeah, I should I should go to the doctor. Yeah. That's okay. It was in like 2019 or whatever. But yeah, um, I, I think this is just. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't not, not, not much to do about it, according to the doctor. I'm going to go see them again, uh, just to be sure, uh, in fact. But yeah. Uh. Place PVCs if needed. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I live in San Francisco, so I don't have either. Just kidding. Um, but it's it's cool. It's cool. Um do, 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 do. Okay, newly created. No one pod count. That's a new flag that I added. If If not use replica sets. Why is that type any? Ah, uh, okay. Else, uh, yeah, so on fire. Uh, that target executor is replica set. Yeehaw. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, that's the ticket. Although I am curious why that's type any, so let's go take a look at that. Uh, I would have thought that would be type boolean. Hmm. Yeah, I'm hoping it's just. Uh, but yeah, expected running. Okay. Um, okay. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Mm hmm. 
Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Uh, and the vanilla allocator. All right, there, I feel like there is a set target. Target. Eh, okay. Whatever. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, uh, replica set name is equal to. ID resource profile ID. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Yeah, okay. Um uh, so this gives me a pod with an attached container and now I want to make a replica set. So let's go ahead and find out how Fabricate does replica sets. Ooh. That's not cool. Eh, let's run it again and see what happens. Okay, um, and let's go back here. We don't need a clean compile. Oh. Huh. That's probably going to fail, because uh, I got a bunch of crap in it. But let's go take a look. Uh, Fabric 8 Java replica set. don't want the extensions. I just want the fucking API. I want the Java doc. I would like the Java doc. Please, would someone give me the Java doc? Yay! Hmm. Uh, hmm. New replica set. Um, actually, maybe I do want that example. Um, Uh, okay. Hmm. 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 Um, oh, I might need coffee. Yeah, you're right, sea life. <clears throat> that's that's a good call. That's a good call. I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find that coffee in a minute. Ah. Uh. Like a set builder. Hmm. 
Hmm. Replica set builder. Uh huh. Hmm. Ah. Do 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 do. Like to see. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna take nope. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, let's see if any of these give me what I want. Um, Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think. <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah, for now, we'll fix it later. Famous last words, of course, but. Uh, what are we going to do here? So, with kind of metadata, okay, hmm, um, okay. Ah, <sighs> Kubernetes replica sets. Okay. Uh, what is the kind? <clears throat> kind is replica sets. <clears throat> okay, with new metadata. With new metadata. Is it a camel case? Okay, meta with new metadata. It gives me back. Um, with name, okay. Replica set name. All of these types are being inferred as any, but that is got to be a string. I don't. I feel like Bloop is having an off day. Um. And metadata. Although I probably actually do want to set a. With namespace, uh, space, uh, dot at. Yeah. Mm. Mm, okay, so it's comp dot get. Okay. Um. Okay, so that's that's the metadata. 
then we want to edit the spec. So with new spec, with, with new spec, Okay, yeah. Uh, replicas. With replicas, it's going to be the target number of replicas. So that's going to be expected. Uh, with mm, new templates. Oh, with new selector. Okay. With with selector. Uh, there's a label here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, interesting. Um, hmm. Spark pod executor rule. Okay. Spark pod. Well, okay. Uh, our selectors and our selectors and or or in Kubernetes. I do not remember. I think it's and. Uh, Okay, yeah. Sounds sounds like a party. I I think. Okay, yeah, no it's selector. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, Um, is it with selector or with selectors? Uh, do, 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 do. What does with selector take? Ah, uh, label selector. With new selector. Um, hmm. can I have multiple? Uh, hmm. Okay, so with new selector, whoop. With new selector, uh, Add to match labels, add to match labels. And then over here. Mm 
Okay. Uh, dot end selector. Okay, so that's my selector. Do, 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 do. Uh, what is the next thing I need to build? Uh, oh, template. Yeehaw. Hmm. Um. Huh. Um. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, uh spec template metadata labels spec template spec uh huh interesting um Hmm. Should I use a job? Jobs. There's just replica sets. Benefit of job. Uh, restart policy never. Um, hmm. Yes. Yeah. Once at least. Ah. Once any pod has exited with success, no other pod should still be doing any work for this task or writing any but they should all be in the process of exiting. So we don't fit this one, we don't fit this one, and we definitely don't fit this one. Um, so, yeah, we'll stay with replicas up for now. We might go to jobs because that's like maybe more closely matched to yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just we'll we'll just stay with replica set, um, because it doesn't look like we exactly match the higher level options. Although, it's possible that like, um, for this task, let's push that. Um, yeah, 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 let's just do a replica set. Yeah, um, and we can, we can make it a job later. Like, I think they're pretty similar spec wise. Like, I'm going to make this, um, Okay, so a with new spec. Okay, with new template. Yay! Mm. And 
Do we actually need to... Executor pod with attached container. Hmm. Executor spec. Dot pod. Uh, uh, hmm. I wonder how close these types are going to be and how much I can get away with. Um, but you know what? Okay, with new template and with template. We do build template. Uh, let's let's get stuff compiling at the very least to IRS. Yeah, because uh, like I, it's almost certainly filled with a bunch of compile errors. And if I if I deal with the compile errors now, uh, then my life will will be a little bit easier. Okay, so. That is up here. Uh, oh yeah, we are gonna take that out for now. Um, Hmm. For now, for now, we'll we'll circle back to that. Um. By the RS. Ah. All right. Uh, okay, three, five, six. Uh, if running is less than expected. Okay, config, Scala, three, seven, Or just uh, set target. Okay. Like leaving myself to do is they bring me joy. Mm. Or values of joy, which are somewhat somewhat questionable. That's okay though. So. Oh yeah, let's see if this thing compiles. Oh, am I? Ah, uh, I'm used to doing Python, aren't I? Yep. Okay, that's what we use inferring type any. Okay, cool. It compiles. <clears throat> Um, so, yeah. How am I? Ah, <sighs> so much work. Helps that I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, well. Okay, so, okay, okay, here we go. Um, so we've got our Oh yeah, that's over here. Are we, what are we? 
It says metadata and that's dead. Okay, um Yeah, with new spec. And then uh, with new template pod template spec. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go at the very least get myself a Coca Cola coffee. Ah, the rest of the coding session oh. will maybe involve less swearing. Okay. So that's cool. Because I think we have a pod spec up above. Uh. <clears throat> Uh, what? Why does this take the executor pod? Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm going to cheat. I don't know what the types of these things are, and I'm going to have the compiler tell me. I... Hmm. Uh, Okay. If I had a proper IDE, I would be fine. Okay, so that's type spark pod. Okay, that makes sense. Uh that is almost certainly not what I want. Um Resolved Executor spec. Pod with attach container. Okay, that's a pod, not a pod spec. So I think what I want to do here Uh, with new template, uh, okay. Uh, so okay, with new template, set back. Hmm. 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 Okay. Pod builder. Okay, where is executor? Okay. 
uh, odd spec builder fabricate. Yeah. So we're going to swap this to pod spec builder. Um, which it takes in a pod spec. Uh, versus a pod. Uh, oh, it has a spec inside of it. That simplifies my life. Yeehaw. Okay. Pod builder. You know, we're just, well, whatever. Yeah, we'll just do this. Okay, cool. So now we've imported the pod spec builder. Okay. Uh, before new spec uh, with new template. Okay, so from with new template uh, with new spec. Uh, theme. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. With new spec, gives us back spec nested, and then, uh, wait, okay, uh, with new spec, what am I on? Okay, yeah, fine. With new spec, it gives me this, which gives with new template, yeah. From with new templates, uh, hmm. okay, with new template, and then, um. Just lost. Okay, this is fine. Okay, with new spec. With new spec. Replica set builder. Oh, okay. With new spec. With new template. With new template. Okay. Template. That's okay. Okay. Spec. Okay, okay. With new template. Uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. And inside of with new template. Um.
Oh wait, it's pod tech uh, with new template like ah, uh, this is a pod template spec instead of a pod spec. Okay, pod template spec. Um. Ah. Oh. Easy enough. Except for this metadata that might be important. Okay, wait. No, I made one. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is type pod spec. Well, pod template spec. New pod builder, yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, okay. Surprising. Uh, um, hmm, except not. Not the most useful. Okay. Pod templates back. Object meta. Metadata. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. New pod template spec. Uh Meta pod with attached container. Okay. Meta is equal to pod dot uh, executor pod dot pod dot get metadata. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, do I want the replica set or stateful set? Probably actually want a stateful set. Um, hmm. Eh, shit. This is going to be inconvenient, maybe. Right. Yeah. 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 So... Do you want ordered scaling and unique network identifiers? I don't know about the persistent storage is a solid maybe. So 
I want to make this a staple set instead. Mm. Yeah, because I need volume clamp. I might need volume cam templates. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and actually replace RS with. Stateful. Uh, SS has negative yeah, complications. Uh, stateful set builder. Hmm, strangely enough. Uh, we're going to change this to set name. Uh, I mean, set to create. Okay. So, odd templates back. <sighs> okay, I have I have a pod templates back. Um, Purpose name. Oh, we need to add some more things to this. In fact, yes. Uh, I just realized do 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 uh, RPI is Okay. Uh uh, so with new spec, and then we're going to give it essentially a pod spec and a volume clamp template, I think, um, or a pod template spec, yes, which we've constructed above, I think, I am, ugh, the fluent APIs, I mean, I like it, but then my brain starts to go... Fuzzy, the deeper and deeper I go. Oh. Yeah. So actually, yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, with new template. like pod template spec <sighs> okay and so then what we're going to do here is we're going to add our uh, little kind of sketchy rpi thing um am i going to do that here or do i want to do it up there Yeah, you know what? Screw it. This thing is pretty complicated. We're just gonna go with new template. Or no, uh sorry, with template. Um uh, 
pod template spec build. Um, template spec builder. Yeah, okay. Pod template spec builder. And I can pass in a pod template spec into the constructor, right? Yep. Yeehaw. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Create a pod template spec with the right resource profile ID. Okay. Uh oh, cool see life. Um sign off. I thanks thanks for watching and thanks for chatting. Thanks for reminding me to get coffee. Uh, edit or okay, edit metadata. Yeah. Edit meta. Yeah, caffeine life. I dig it. Uh, one hundred percent. And metadata. In edit metadata. Um, okay. Add two labels. RPI. There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, I dig it. Um, Spark and Dask both are distributed computing platforms. Um, I'd say Spark is more for situations where you have like existing sort of big data type installation like Hadoop, uh, Hive, you know, something like that that you want to interact with. Um, or you've got some JVM code that you want to interact with. Or you like writing Scala or Java um, or Kotlin. Um, Dask is more if you want to stay in the Python space. Um, it's got, you know, more of a Pythonic implementation, more of a Pythonic API all around. More more Python focused. Um, does that answer your question, Selwyn? And also, sorry if I said your name wrong. Uh, please let me know how to say it right. I will I will work on that. Okay, math terms. Uh, ooh. Okay, uh, I don't remember what I was doing. Um, are they direct competitors? In some places, yeah. I would say PySpark and, and Dask are sort of competitors. Um, but, like, I would say that the kinds of places where you're going to see them deployed are a little different. I would say Dask is definitely probably taking some market share from Spark. And, yeah, they both can be plugged into Kubernetes. Um I think I have a blog post on it. Uh, do I have a blog post on running Dask on Kubernetes? Um, yeah. So uh, I've got this first look at Dask on ARM on Kubernetes. Ah, uh, distributed TensorFlow. Um, that's hard. Um. I I don't know. Uh, if your data is like coming from a Hadoop ecosystem, Spark is probably easier, right? Or if you're collating it from a few different Hadoop things. Otherwise, like Dask or Ray is probably the way to go.
Uh, but like, be aware, this is like my my life has been Spark, and while I while I definitely do work a little bit uh, with playing with Dask and Ray, um, this is akin to asking uh, a Subaru dealer which car you should buy. The answer is gonna lean towards Subaru because like that's what I have experience uh, with, um, and in this case, Spark is my Subaru. Um, but I, I think Dask is really cool too, and I'm planning to spend more time on that. Um, probably not tonight. Um, I think actually after I get this a little bit further along, I'm gonna go get the dog, and then my my plan for my like after work hours is to try and get um some like basic security implementation uh with the polynode and jupiter hub so that i can use it um that's that's my plan for the for the evening it's a very exciting uh yeah Uh, yeah. uh, uh, What was I gonna do? I was gonna press buttons. My brain is melting. <laughs> I want to get a little bit further with this. How long have I been doing this for? It says eight minutes, but I, I know it has been longer than eight minutes. Okay, 88 minutes. Um. Yeah. Uh, Alexa, create a 20 minute timer. I'm definitely not going to roll more than 20 minutes more on this. Because I'm not feeling that. Oh, cool. Okay, so that did work. Um, where that is my um, building volcano for arm. Um, let's get back to this. Volumes. Um. Okay, pods with attached container. Ah. Uh. Okay, resolved executor spec, executor Kubernetes resources. So let's go take a look. At, uh, Spark pods. Um, okay, wait, resolved executor spec is executor builder build from features <sighs> executor builder kubernetes executor builder kubernetes executor builder dot scala okay so build from features ah uh, yeehaw okay uh, okay, executor Kubernetes resources, Kubernetes executor spec, okay. Kubernetes executor spec dot Scala is a, okay. It's a sequence that has metadatas, okay. So, executor Kubernetes resources. So uh, 
a Uh, okay, okay. Ah, he is stuck. Okay, um, ah, set target. Okay, set target executors. Um, Oh, actually, yeah, that's probably where I want to do that. Oh, whatever. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm gonna set target executors. Uh, whatever. Um. Okay, so ha it's a sequence of has metadata, which that's cool. Um, doesn't really narrow it down, mind you, but that's that's okay. Uh, this is going to be stateful set. Uh, which that's fine. Okay, so stateful set. Um, okay. Um, edit. Edit or new. Wait, uh, with, ah, uh. okay, spec, yeah, that's not a thing here, uh, with new metadata, no, uh, metadata, no, huh. Uh, okay. Uh, with name? Name. Um, stateful set name. Wait, doesn't the stateful set? Okay, let's go find stateful set builder. Uh, stateful set builder fabricate. Okay. Cool. This looks kind of like what I. Uh, uh, with template, oh, oh yeah, with new spec, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. New spec. So with new spec. Okay. So then the sequence of executor Kubernetes resources, I have to understand what they are. 
And that part kind of sucks. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Um... Hmm. So, wait, I'm a little bit out of my league here. Uh... Um, uh, request executor with new executor. So, what about, yeah, uh, Not in the snapshot receive uh, but in other place. Uh, but in the uh, set target place and uh, snapshot receive and we do the thing. It's fine. Okay. Um Um, hmm. what do I want to do? Okay, I guess I am curious to see all of the places we use this. Because uh, that would kind of throw a wrench in my plan. Uh Okay. Good news is not a lot. Uh let's go take a look at Kubernetes executor building. Uh added. Oh, yeehaw. Okay. So features dot hold left on back and then added resources is equal to features dot get additional Kubernetes resources. Uh, 
Okay. So get additional Kubernetes resources. Let's figure out who implements that. A lot of things. Ah, oh, Pontebla config. So, hmm. okay. Um, mm. Okay. Here we go. Um, let's take a look uh, at edit volume. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, new metadata. So then. With new metadata, metadata nested, um, add owner reference. Oh, shit is so complicated. Computers, 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 computers. Okay. Uh, let's go to take a look at this again. Um, Volume claim templates. Um, what other kind of resources do we add? So, yeah, not secrets. No. Make up get additional uh, 
Uh, upright. Hadoop conf. Pod template config map step. Okay. Um. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Mount volumes feature step drivers Kubernetes. So really. It's, and I don't even think that's, uh, yeah, this is just config maps. Okay. So we've got config maps and volume maps. So, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So here we go. This is what we're going to do. Uh, val volumes, val Alexa snooze. Alexa snooze. Uh, misc Kate's resources. Um, resources that we, uh, that need to be created, but they're not associated with, uh, per pod. Um, and then sure. Okay, this is starting to make sense. Um, PVCs are created magic land. PVCs are created in Magic Land. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, PVCs. Uh, PVCs be handled by the Oop. Uh, template. 
template me, please. Hmm. Yeah, uh, we'll let the PVCs be handled by the, uh, what am I call it? Uh, stateful set. Okay, this is starting to come together. I'm going to give it a bit more time because I've, I've got some, like, context in my head that I don't want to fuck up. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so then what we'll do is down here, um, stateful set. <sighs> this is very mutation-y, but WC volumes dot for each. Yeehaw. Uh... Oh, actually, zip with index. Uh, right. Cool. Alexa, snooze. Okay, okay, okay. Stateful set builder dot so staple set builder yeehaw uh staple set builder is around here somewhere staple set builder staple set builder uh or do i want staple set fluent uh staple set fluent um No. Stateful set builder. Ah, uh, dude, dude. Okay, so. Oh, it's inside of spec. Uh, whatever. Uh, where's my spec? Oh, actually, no, I can just do add to vo add new volume. Oh, add all to volume claim templates. Oh, okay, actually, that's, that's easier. We don't have to do this weird. Uh, doot, doot, doot. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. And so now uh, we are going to go ahead and turn these into volumes. Yes. Uh, dot map. <sighs> or more specifically, persistent volume claims. Okay. Yeehaw. And it implements has metadata, but sure. Um, uh, 
And so if we go back, not to this one, but to mount volumes. And I think I'm going to have to uh, uh, to do pull then double check mount secrets. Okay. Um... Okay, persistent volume claim. So wait, claim name template. Okay, that's, that's giving us a claim name. This makes a persistent volume claim builder, which is actually pretty damn close to what I want. Top build, okay. Um, New persistent volume claim volume claim builder b dot as instance of persistent volume claim uh dot edit metadata and metadata dot build. Okay. Alexa Snooze with name. Uh, uh, in B dot Place. Yeehaw. Okay. That's cool. I think. This is my theory. Uh, well, the PVCs be handled by the staple set. Uh, we need to hmm um okay so then is there an owner no okay um part of me wants to give this an owner um Um, okay. Uh, stay full set builder, fabric eight. Okay, uh, and then I'm inside of with new spec. Uh, spec nested. Add all two volume claim templates. Um, uh, 
actually looks like everything that I want, really. And spec dot build. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to check out Mount Secrets. I'm pretty sure that's going to be fine, but I could be wrong. Yeah. We're fine. Um... I think we're fine. Our values are fine, which are very fuzzy. Uh, so we've got a stateful set now. Um... Executor pawns allocator. Uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna work. I don't think. Um. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to see if there was a. Uh, Hmm. Owner? No. That's fine. I'm not gonna bother with that. Um. Do 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 do. Mm. Add owner reference. Created executor pod. Um, misc gets resources. And then we're going to just go ahead and Kubernetes client. Alexis News. Uh, Alexa snooze. Uh, staple set dot create. Uh, staple set. Okay. Um, it's a, it's not ideal, but I think I think this is like a halfway decent possible stopping point. So we are we're gonna stop here because I I gotta go pick up the dog. Um, oh. Yeah. Um. Uh, do, do, do. So, because I, um, I tend to not have the most success all the time, I am going to uh, commit this. Work in progress supporting faithful sets uh, for Spark. Uh, TBD if we want stateful set or job. Um, and it's possible I want job instead of yeah, whatever. I'm I'll I'll think it through. Um, and, uh, we'll, we'll get there. Um, and so this is, let me make sure, yeah. So I'm going to push it upstream before I go, just like in case my computer like breaks. Um, but yeah, so that was some good progress. I'm going to go get my dog, uh, from daycare 
and I'm going to, like, do some other things. I don't remember what they were. I think I'm going to make dinner and try and, like, uh, get my brain back. Oh, yeah, and then add security to my janky thing that I came up with over the long weekend. Cool. Thanks, everyone, for joining. See you all around.